So here's something that that you said that caught my eye. You know, you spoke about PAA. That is, uh, people also ask, yeah. and NTD statements are both distractions and opportunities for you to lose audience searching for your brand. So can you explain this to me in layman's terms? Right. Well, the, the people also ask. I mean, this is specifically within the the brand search when somebody searches your exact yes. brand name. Uh, and those PAA are incredibly insightful because if you have them on your, if, if sorry, first, if you don't have them on your brand set, it means that the brand set, which is the result for the exact match brand search uh, on your name, if you don't have them, it means that Google hasn't understood who you are, what you offer, and um, what your topics are, which is the topic layer. So we're coming back to that again. And if it does, then it's going to show the questions that it thinks are most important to your users, your audience rather i.e. your users, your existing users, and your prospects. And that's incredibly insightful. And what you will see, and I'm the, the data from CaliCube Pro, indicates that 9% of brands own any of those people that also ask on their own brand set. 9%, that's pathetic. That means that 90% of brands aren't even starting to ask, answer the questions around their own brand. So right. that's point number one. That's on the left rail. That's the recommendations. And the entity statements, that's what I'm calling them. It's basically people also ask on the right rail. I...